Hello, good morning and welcome to the blog. It's Paul at New Forest Morphs. It is the 31st of January, the end of the month. Sorry our video didn't go out on Monday, but there's been a lot happening here and I'm kind of running the facility myself at the moment. Jared is busy on family engagements, but uh, interestingly enough, we've uh, had some more ovulations. We've had some more pre-lay sheds. We've picked up two new snakes and thank you to Ian um, at IHT Exotics. Um, based in Liverpool, went up to um, meet him halfway and picked up two wonderful um, girls that are about a thousand grams each for our Desert Ghost Clown project. They're double heads, so getting ready to put our boy to the next year. So we've got a beautiful Desert Ghost, pastel Desert Ghost boy that's 100% het for uh, Clown. I'll show you him this morning. But also we've um, moved everything out of quarantine into here. So we had our DG Pied projects and our Sunset projects. So we'll have a quick look and see how they're settling in. The Leopard uh, DG double head DG Pied girl is in shed. They're eating well, they're feeding well, the new snakes are settling in well. So we're delighted and we're just, uh, it's gonna be a short video today, but uh, we've got the salmon season starting tomorrow. So I'm uh, preparing and strimming and cleaning some of the beautiful salmon pools. So it'll be a quick one. Uh, the end of my tax return period is today. I've got 150 tax returns out. I'm so glad that they're done because it's always a very stressful time for me in January. So I'm looking forward to having a breather and just taking some respite. But I hope everyone else is doing well. So let's have a look at these garons. Let's have a look at the new pickups that have moved into the facility, see how they're doing. And then maybe we'll have a look at some of the girls that have ovulated as well and given us pre lay sheds. Okay, let's go for it. So here we have the D double head DG Pides, the leopard one's in shed, putting on good weight, they're feeding well, you see this one's in deep shed, but um, we won't disturb that too much, but we've uh, given them extra moisture. And there's the double head DG Pied girl, she's about 1200 grams right now, she's settling in really well, so I'm delighted with her, so that's lovely. And then over here we've got the sunsets, I'll just show you those very quickly. And uh, they're feeding incredibly well. Orange Dream Enchi Het Sunset Girl, 2022 baby. You can see she's uh, bowl wrapping at the moment. She's in there. She's settling in nicely. And then we've got the boy, which is a pastel Enchi Het Sunset 50% Het Clown, hoping that he'll prove out. And uh, we've got a new set of racks coming in February. So we're going to be adding another 10 adult racks for the move ups. And I just wanted to show you how this boy is doing because this boy is our DG Het Clown Boy and he's a pastel one of this way. I think I forgot to put pastel on there so I must add pastel. But you can see the pastel gives him that white head stamp. And look, he always likes to come out and explore. But he's putting on some good weight. So our DG projects are doing particularly well. They're all feeding well. And the DG Visual Pied is also putting on some weight, 125 grams so this boy's doing beautiful those pickups we'll just let him go back in isn't he lovely so he'll be the boy going to our new double het uh, dg clown girls thanks to ian and here we have the dg pied which is looking really beautiful and you can see uh, we normally feed today but i'm actually going to give them a couple of days rest and then we'll feed them when jazz back in the facility and it's okay to let them rest for a little bit from food. It's probably quite a good policy. But this beautiful boy is an absolute clonkingly beautiful, 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 beautiful animal. I might just bring him out on the table so you can see him in the light. There he is. So we've weighed him recently and he's coming in, I believe at about 125 to 130 grams. Feeding every week, not a problem. And he's progressed up to rat fluffs now so doing really well and uh, absolutely beautiful beautiful animal so we're really pleased with him and he's very affectionate he likes to come out and likes to spend time with us and uh, I'll bring out the other desert ghost boy as well I'll let him just do a little bit of exploration and I'll just bring this head clown boy into the light as well so you can see how beautiful and uh, this one's got the pastel in it. So you can see how bright the Desert Ghost is. And you can see that with the pied, how orange they go, the orange uh, comes out in the Desert Ghost and uh, the yellows are still bright in the blues. 
but two stunning, stunning, beautiful, beautiful snakes. Right, <laughs> okay, we're gonna put you back. So they do like to come out and explore and I do like them to kind of come out. My two males have been wanting to come out and uh, a little tip for the males that want to come out and you're not ready to breed with them is to let them come out and explore naturally. And I'll show you what I mean by this. I mean, here's Apollo. So you can see, look, he wants to come out and breed, but I don't want to breed him today. So I let him just open the drawer, let him explore, and he'll do his little bit of exploration and then he'll go back into his rub and it stops him from getting stressed out because the hormones are strong in here. And Apollo is one of my original snakes, one of my favorite snakes in the facility. And the other one is Skip. You can see below him, Skip is wanting to pop out and I'll bring him out in a second. Let's just put this little boy back. He's a lovely, lovely boy. Everything's doing well. Our new Orange Dream Yellow Belly Girl is absolutely popping. Putting on great weight, so it won't be long before she moves up. Let's just see how beautiful those Yellow Belly Orange Dream colours work well together. Het for clown, this girl. And she's putting on great size. She's eating small Maltese. So we're looking forward to bringing her on. And then you can see how the boys is playing around. Put that one back. The hypos are doing really well. You can see there's a fire hypo, 100, hopefully 100%. Het for pied, he's got the markings. He's ready for breeding, going into his mother soon. And then you've got Ebony, who's the girl. She's the fly, firefly hypo, hopefully 100% het for pied. And she's putting on really good weight and doing well. So a lot of the animals are coming on nicely. And then you can see little Apollo smelling the girls and you can see that skips behind him wants to come out but uh beautiful beautiful animal so we just let them explore keep an eye on them and uh they do really well he'll go back into his rub in a minute and then i'll shut the drawer and give another boy a chance to come out and play and you can see he's uh exploring he's picking up the scents of the females there's a lot going on here in the in the lab and look he's just chilling and he'll go back now and that's all he needs just a little bit of time to explore uh, so they don't feel as though they're penned down and they can come out and do what they want to do. Right, so the other ovulations we've had are Bubbles has ovulated. So we'll just leave him for a second. She's ovulated last week. And she's on the hot spot. You can see how she's doing well. Have a quick look at her. She's now off ovulation, but she's now obviously incubating the eggs on the hot spot. So that was really good. We think that Electra has also ovulated. So she ovulated on the 28th of January 24th. And there she is. She's cooling off, but she's uh, doing particularly well. And then we've also got um, a pre lay shed. Now, oh, there's Apollo having a bit of fun there. Look at him. <laughs> He's so fun. So we've also had Calissa's ovulated on the 29th of January 24th. Now she's not got such big follicles, but she's not a big girl. She's gone past her ovulation now, but she can see there that there's still a bit of a ridge on her, but she's looking beautiful. And hopefully she's gonna give us a nice clutch. And she's a Enchi clown girl. And we're hopefully gonna get cinnamon clowns with Enchi and pastel in there, is what we're aiming for there. So going for the dark side of the clowns. And there's Apollo, <laughs> he's so happy. Bowers is the other one that wants to come out and play. All the boys, they're all wanting to breed, but I'm gonna give them a rest this week. You can see how pretty he is. Beautiful, and I've given them extra humidity. And there is a top tip, when the boys start going off food, just to allow for them to wash them after they've um, locked. If you wash off the scenting from the female, they're more likely to eat for you. So there's a little tip for you for this week, is how to get your boys back on food, is to wash off the scent, and you'll find that they will probably eat for you uh, if you're worried about any males in, in the season that aren't feeding. Give that a go and let me know how you get on in the comments. So I'm just gonna slip this boy back, but thank you so much for all your support and love and for the new subscribers. And we're grateful for all the comments that you make. Please carry on doing so. We're looking forward to uh, giving you a catch up next week. I hope everyone's going well and it's goodbye from myself at New Forest Morphs, Paul. And don't forget to hit the subscription button and the notification button. And we shall see you next week. Bye-bye for now.